Hi, I'm Daniel McNamara. I'm, I signed up for BC Calculus last year because uh, I was always really good at math. My SAT score for math was 740. Um, BC Calculus for me was still a lot of work, even though I was really good at math. Uh, like every Monday we do about an hour 30 minutes of work, even though I work in groups. Uh, for me, it uh, wasn't as hard as others, but other people had to study for multiple hours before tests and stuff just to do well. Um, I had played multiple sports and with the time commitment it overlapped a little bit. I just had to give up some. I mean, it hurt me a little bit, but it's doable. Um, comparatively to AB, BC is significantly harder. Uh, I have friends in AB that only took about 40 minutes on each problem or each worksheet that we do a week and it takes us a minimum hour 30 minutes. Um, uh, good luck in BC next year if you decide to take it, but just consider taking AB as well. My name is Gannon McCollum. I'm in BC Calculus this year and I play the cross. <laughs> <laughs> I did exactly what you told me to do. Just no, like... Anything, anything at all. Still recording. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I love BC. I thought it was awesome. It's, it was weird at first because I went in and there's 15, 16 kids in the class and they're all freaks, they're all so good at math and uh, it was sort of weird, I'd never been in a setting like that where everyone was so, so good and so uh, at first when I was, you know, getting B's and C's on tests and kids weren't studying and getting A pluses, that freaked me out a little bit and it sort of made me jealous, it was, uh, it was a weird experience to see people that just blew me out of the water like they did but as I sort of got my bearings and got acclimated to the whole thing. You can handle it. I mean, it's not it's not that bad. But I picked up my stride. I did perfectly well in the class. I loved it. Mr. LeFerry is awesome. He is totally committed to seeing everyone succeed, which is really cool. Uh, and the, the kids in there range from average at math and just work their butts off and end up doing well to just the Daniel McNamara's that don't try at all and uh, get hundreds on every test and laugh at everyone while they do it. Uh, so there's a really there's a really broad spectrum of kids, I guess you could say. It's it's not gonna work for people that sort of skate by and aren't total freaks that just have that God given ability. But for a lot of people it's an awesome experience. For everyone in there it's been uh, like a little community. You feel it's there's another there's a whole another feeling when you're the only 15 or 16 kids in your senior class that are graduating having taken that. It's a, it's a, it's a neat feeling to be part of like that, I guess, elite group almost that's taken that highest level course and done well in it. Hello, uh, I'm Nate Owen, and I've just finished my year of BC Calculus with Mr. LeFarrier. Uh, I was, along with Jamin behind the camera here, uh, one of the only two juniors in the class this year. And uh, I'm here to talk about a little bit what the class is like. Um, first of all, if you think, I've heard some numbers of uh, people coming into the class and I want you to know that the only reason that uh, I personally was successful in the class was because of the really small environment uh, that Mr. LeFarrier has given us. and. Uh, uh, I, I took advantage of that, but uh, you need to know that it's not an easy class. It's, um, it's a class where you definitely have to push yourself. I had a 98-99 a average in math analysis for a majority of the year, and I came into the class and uh, you have to brace yourself when you get a 76, because at some point in the year, you're going to fail a test. You're going to fail a test or two or three, it, unless you're uh, Daniel McNamara, or one of the smartest kids in our class, unless you're a genius, you're gonna have to roll with the blows. It's definitely not like any other AP, maybe you could make a comparison to AP Chemistry or something like that, but you have to accept that this is very much like a real college course in the fact that you're gonna have to grow up and accept that um, you're not always gonna be able to get an A. Um, that being said, if you do sit through his class, if you listen attentively and do all of his work, and it's very hard to do all of his work, all, uh, it, <laughs> excuse me, there were several times where I had to get together and you ha I had to relinquish my pride and ask for help on things that I just didn't know how to do. I'm not 
uh, a dumb person, but I had to ask for help because there were things that I just didn't know how to do. But um, you have to do that in order to survive. And it's going to be more and more difficult the more people there are in the class. Um, so with that being said, if you feel that you are extremely strong in mathematics, if you feel that you can get through it without very much trouble at all, I would suggest taking BC Calculus. If you are good at mathematics, you plan on doing something with it in college, and I'm not trying to put anyone down, but if you are probably not going to put a huge time investment into this, you should probably consider just taking AB. It has nothing to do with how smart you are, and one of the things that I wanted to say, say is there's a, it's sort of a reverse peer pressuring, a peer pressuring into uh, taking the harder classes. Into, uh, uh, I have several friends who have taken uh, very, very difficult classes that are, were beyond their reach because their friends were taking them. And you need to assess yourself. You need to ask yourself, what am I prepared for? What am I actually ready to do? What kind of person I am? And know that um, when you choose your curriculum, it reflects not on what kind of person you are, just on what you're ready to do. You'll all be able to do this eventually, but you need to make sure um, that you're not pushing yourself too hard uh, from the get-go. There are plenty of people in our class that took AB before BC, and that seems like it was the best route for them. And if that's the best route for you, that's what I would suggest. On the other hand, if you feel that you're exceptional in math, if you feel that you're very, very gifted, then by all means, go for it. But remember that you are going to have uh, quite a bit of work in front of you. It's not going to be as easy as math analysis. You're going to actually have to go home. You're going to have to dedicate hours to work. And trust me, uh, if I know Mr. LeFerrier, he'll make you do that. <laughs> uh, that's it. Um, either way, you're going to enjoy Mr. LeFerrier next year. It's a very odd chemistry. I know some of that may have been intimidating. Maybe I was a little harsh. But the strange thing is, is that no matter what you do, it's going to be fun because you have Mr. LeFerrier. He makes everything great. And um, whether you take A, B, or B, C, I wish you the best year because I would definitely redo this year if I could have another class with Mr. LeFerrier. Hi, my name is Michaela Sargent, and I'm in BC Calculus. I just wanted to let you guys know, for all the people that I signed up, it's not as easy as it seems. Uh, math has always been my strong suit in school, I've always loved it, and it's been easy for me, but once I got into this class, I definitely found that I was struggling in the beginning of the year, and you have to be willing to put forth a lot of time and effort into this class. Always do the homework and always do everything, every opportunity that Mr. LaFerry gives you for extra help and everything. And it's not as easy as one, two, three. You're definitely going to have a lot of pressure put on you from this class, and it's going to be really difficult for everybody. So. <laughs> Just make sure that like you are willing to be dedicated to the class and make sure that you want to be in the class before you sign up for it.